What are you guys telling me? It's H said. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make samples for Pyrex Whipper and Q Beats. So let's get straight into it. Alright. So the first thing I did was literally I opened up this contact uh, guitar. It's called Django. Django Gypsy guitar. Literally Django Gypsy Jazz guitar. And I'll be real, I did not make the melody, alright? I used Scalar 2, shout out to Scalar 2. This this is one of the coldest plugins I've ever had in my life. Literally it's a, it's a chord maker and I used this Latin one preset. I I made it into an arpeggio for one eighth T, and then I used this up thing. And this is what it sounds like, like before I did everything. So yeah. So this this chord here, the C seven, is our key, and this is our key from the white thing. So I went in here, I just dragged the MIDI in. And then I'll put everything in key. And this is what it sounds like without the mix, okay? Without any mixing. This is what the guitar sounded like. Yeah, it sounds very ass. It sounds very, very ass. But what I did to the mix was literally, I added a simple EQ. Just cut by the lows. And then cut, like, did some like cut to the highs. Added a reverb. Kept these the same, but just turned up the wet. Made like thirty percent, twenty percent. I don't even know. And then I added an RC twenty with the air distort, space, and magnetic. This space here is a lifesaver. It carries all my melodies, and I just use the normal cut. And for the isotope vinyl, I literally just put the preset to nineteen seventy, and this is what it sounds like. Don told you it sounds crisp. You feel me? But um, the next thing I added was this Omnisphere lead. No, no, Omnisphere pluck. The pluck, I'm never going to say the name. But it's on one of these. I do not know which one. You just got to find it. But it's this one here. And this is this is why I literally did it. This is what it sounds like without any mixing. It sounds terrible. But what I literally did was... Turn, turn these both down, put the wet up, put this full, and then I got this um, pan sign, pan sign, pan limiter, pan flanger sign. I do, I do not remember. I'll probably, it's probably gonna be up there. But yeah, I did not know what what it is. But and then, wait, I'm bugging it. As no, I, I promise, like, and even even. You know, but uh, it's like some pan limiter thing. And what I did was I used the preset temporal. Oh my, what the hell? I used the preset temporal downer. Turn the smooth up and it sounds literally like this. Sounds clean, sounds crisp. Next, I added a contact violin. It's the lyrical vi violin legato. And this is literally what it sounds like without the mix. This is just a simple down chord progression. They're the same, same EQ. Did kind of the same reverb, and then I added RC20. And literally, it's the simplest chord progression ever. So I don't even think, I don't even know what it is. But it's literally so simple. And next, I added a flute. Probably one of the best flutes in my opinion. Jubal flute. Let me just show you what it sounds like without effects. It sounds so bad without effects. You see this little triplet thing? You wanna you wanna rinse these in your beats because they're literally they make the sample sound so cold. Like it's just amazing. But here's what it sounds like when it's mixed. I literally added EQ, reverb, RC20. Same same thing basically, same thing. But yeah. I wanted to give it like an ambient vibe. And then next I'm pretty sure I added this one shot lead from Shoes cheat code one shot kit. Shout out to Shoe. It's a sick, 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 um, sick instrument. And this is this this is literally what I did. And what I did to the mix was, I just I just used the insert three, yeah. And that's literally pretty much it. Like that's how quick I did it. And then what I did was, I literally. Oh my god, it's taking forever. 
I literally, all I did was, I just exported this whole sample. So this is what it sounds like originally. This is what it originally sounded like before I made it turn into that. My bad. Literally, all I did was I literally export this by clicking this record button, alter, and then just start it. And once I export it, I basically got this. And then what I did was I literally pushed it down by 200 cents, meaning it was originally an F minor, now it's a D sharp minor. And then to, for the master, I added a soft clipper, RC20, with just a bit of space to give it more, more ambient vibe. I love those ambient samples. And then I was going to use this EQ, but I already used it, so that's why I turned it off. And this is literally the final sample again. And yeah, that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, if you want more tutorials, like, subscribe, share. And that's how you make a Pyrex Whipper Q Beats type sample.